Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss a numerical on Lagrangian method. Now we are discussing a very simple question which says that we have to find the natural frequency of a simple pendulum. Right, so let's assume that we have taken a pendulum right, of some mass m and the length is of the string is taken as L and the mass of the string is negligible. So we are only considering the mass of the ball. Now, if you want to do the analysis of a simple pendulum, first we need to discuss what is the degree of freedom of the system. Now, the degree of freedom of a simple pendulum is one because it can denote it either by the angle theta or we can denote it by the coordinates x and y where x so either x or y is independent and the other one is dependent on the other value. So there are two ways of uh, you know describing the freedom degree of freedom of pendulum. In this case, we'll uh, take theta as the degree of freedom of the pendulum, right? So let's assume if the pendulum is at some extreme position, right? And if this is the length of the pendulum and it is making angle theta with its, so this length, now, if the pendulum would have been the, at the mean position, so this complete would have been the length of the pendulum. But we, if we make a construction and if we make this triangle, so this length is what? This is L cos theta. And this is what? This is the height, right? If we talk in terms of this uh, vertical uh, length, so this is the height that the pendulum has moved while moving from this uh, mean position to the equilibrium position right now we know the uh, this l factor the lagrangian factor is given by t minus v where t is the kinetic energy and v is the potential energy and the difference of the two energies give this term right and this uh, the general equation of the lagrangian uh, formulation is given by this equation where the time derivative of differential of Lagrangian with respect to x dot which is denoting the velocity factor minus the differential of Lagrangian with x that uh, we generally talk as the displacement and this is equal to zero. But in this case what we are saying we are not using displacement we are using the angle theta as displacement. So omega will become what del theta upon del t that we are denoting by theta dot. So this is how the equation changes. Now we have to find the values of Lagrangian with their differentials. So let's first take the kinetic energy which we are denoting by T. So what is kinetic energy? It is half I omega square and in this case I is what? It is ML square that is the moment of inertia and omega is what? Omega is V upon L. So it becomes V square upon L square. So the equation that we get is half mv square, right? So if we'll take x, y components, we can take kinetic energy as half mv square. But here we are taking in terms of theta. So the equation changes to half i theta dot square. Now the general equation for potential energy is what? mgh, right? And what is h in this case? It is L minus this L whole length of this uh, spring. Uh, sorry length of the string so it becomes l minus l cos theta so if we take l common this is the equation that we get and the lagrangian that is l is given by t minus v so we can place the value of t and v so this is the equation that we get now if we differentiate this l with respect to theta so there is only one component of theta which is this component right so cos theta becomes minus sin theta and because this negative negative becomes positive and cos theta differentiation gives minus sine theta. So the equation that we get is MGL sine theta. Now uh, finding the difference, differential of this uh, Lagrangian with respect to theta dot. So there is only one component, this component. So it becomes what? Half into 2i into theta dot. So 1 by 2 cancels 2. So we are left with this equation which is i theta dot and we've already discussed that i is what ml square. So we can write the equation in this form. Now the equation says that the time derivative of this differential with respect to velocity. 
So this factor, its time derivative will become what? ML square theta double dot minus what it is talking about del L upon del theta which is minus MGL sine theta. So it becomes positive and this is the equation that we get. Now from this equation M is common so we can take the uh, common factor out and if you divide the equation by L so this is the equation that we get. Now when the pendulum is moving it is moving for small angular displacements not very large angular displacements so we can assume that for small values of theta sine theta can be written as theta. So this is how the equation looks like which is theta double dot plus omega n square into theta and if we compare these two equations the natural frequency omega n is given by under root g upon l. That means the natural frequency is dependent only upon the length of the string used for this system.